Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a wedding RSVP website in Wix. So again, RSVP, it is a request for a guest to confirm their attendance at an event so the host can plan accordingly. So RSVP is used to help event organizers prepare for the number of attendees and making arrangements such as food, eating, and accommodation. So to create a site, a webbing, wedding website for that, first you have to make sure that you have an account here on Wix. If you don't know how to create one, just go to wix.com and then sign up using your Google account, your email address and password. Okay, so since I have created some of my sites right here, if you want to edit your site, just click select and edit site. But if you want to create a new one, especially if it's all about wedding wedding website and you don't have one here yet you have to click create new site now it will take you right here so create sites with wix studios new editor for agencies and freelancers so if you have your agency if you have your wedding agency then this one is for you now they will ask you to try this wix studio by the way this one is an editor too but the events but the features here and the options are advanced compared to Wix editor. So as a beginner, I strongly recommend to try create on Wix. Tap this one right here. Bring ideas to life with AI. Tell us about a site you're creating and get a personalized dashboard with everything you need to manage it. So if you want to start and ask how from AI with whatever you want for your template or website, you can tap this one right here. But as a beginner, I strongly suggest to set up with our chat. So what type of website do you want to create? Let's just look for a wedding here. So you can see there is this wedding, wedding save the date, blog, shop, planning. So let's just focus with wedding, wedding site, tap continue. And it is now preparing your dashboard. So you have to wait for a couple of seconds as it is processing. And here is your Wix dashboard. Now, I just want to tell you that Whatever you set up here, it will not affect your other websites. Okay, so this is my website. And it's like independent website because if you set up your payment method or if you have set up like RSVP here, it will not affect other sites. So whatever you add here or set up here, this setting is just for this specific site. And then after that, click continue. Okay, so what type of event are you hosting? So ticketed event, set up pricing and cap in capacity. Registration only, collect RSVPs, and then set a waitlist. So our tutorial is all about this one. So you have to click the second one right here and then tap continue. Okay, set the time and location. You can set up a time here and also the location if it's physical or online. But actually, you could do this one later. So let's just skip this part. Which tools would you like to add to your website? So setting map, event schedule, email marketing. So this one is for sending invitations for your event, share the lineup of the event, and then let guests choose their seats. So let's just skip this to here, tap continue. And then you're all set. So head over to the dashboard to finish setting up your site. Continue to dashboard. So before adding RSVP to your site, let's create a wedding site first. Or we're going to create a design, good design for your wedding template. So tap design site right here. So how would you like to design your website? Customize a template or generate a design with AI. So I would prefer this one right here as a beginner. But actually, you can try this one if you want. But for me, I would like to pick a template first. Okay, so you can pick the website template you love here. There are tons of templates that you can use for wedding. Okay, so it could be this one right here, this one. So for this tutorial, I'm going to select this. Okay, so if you want to view details before you tap edit, you can. But let's just try and tap this edit right here. Wait for a couple of seconds as it is processing. And it will take you directly to Wix 
website editor. Okay, so here is the design side. You can enhance your AI content. You can enhance everything here by asking help from AI and generate side text, but this one is optional. So I'm going to tap X for now. And I'm using the 50% visibility or view of the design side. Now, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. So basically, you can now edit this one. On the left side, if you want to add elements such as if you want to add like image, text, button, strip, decorative, box, gallery, and so on. You can just basically tap this and it will be added directly to your page. For add section, if you want to add a welcome section about team, contact, promotion, services, subscribe, testimonials, and so on, you just have to click any of this one right here and it will be added to your page. For pages and menu here, what you're going to do is you can basically edit your sign a site on you by this sign up and login if you want to edit this event pages members area and if you have light boxes you can edit this one too if you want to edit your design or site design you can change the color theme text theme page background page transitions and so on now we will focus on wix app market we're going to add rsvp right here Okay, so this time we're going to look for RSVP, RSVP. So here I search for RSVP and you have to click this one Wix events and ticket. Tap this one right here. Wait for a couple of seconds. So if you haven't installed this application, you will see install right here. But since I have installed this, I'm going to click open, tap this one. And here is our RSVP event. It is automatically added to our page. So if you want to customize this or manage page event, you can just simply tap this manage event right here. And basically it will take you directly to your dashboard where you can also see this event option. So you can click add event right here, tap this one, select the second one right here, RSVP event, general information. So let's just say this one is C and me wedding. You can add an image right here, your wedding uh, picture, an image. So add a teaser, but this one is optional. Add categories. Let's just say wedding. Okay. You can um you can just simply add wedding, but everything is up to you. Tap confirm. And then here you can add if it's single, recurring, or to be decided, of course, it's a single event. And then you can set our start date. Let's just say 13 time. Let's just say it's um, 12.50. And we'll end at, let's just say 4.30 p.m. So time. So let's just say Hong Kong. Okay, display, show event and date time. Did I show time zone? Location, physical. Event location, uh, Hong Kong Hall. Let's just say Hong Kong Okay, maybe this one right here for the sake of the tutorial. So the map will be automatically added here. So about the event, you can add um image of the wedding gallery or the video of the wedding or add file or add more information about this event. Once we're done, tap create draft. Now you can proceed with settings. So if you want to edit the guest can register on settings, registration status, guest limit, who can RSVP to this event, just click edit right here. Registration form. Okay, if you want to turn this one on or the form fields, just edit. For event policies, let's just say I'm going to add something for event policies. I'm going to tap edit, add policy. I have added here how to RSVP. Okay, so this is a, the event policy. I'm going to add policy right here. Then I can now go back. And so on with other settings right here. Okay, you can turn off if you want. Cancellation, if no cancellation, it's up to you. Same goes with features. If you want to add video conferencing, schedule, Wix group, automation, it's up to you for promotion if you have. If you want to send invitation or social media, Okay, so you just have to basically edit this also for a guest.
okay and then once you're done then all you have to do is to click publish if you go back to your wix design site then basically you will see that right away so let me refresh this and as you can see here on your site there is and as you can see here on the side there is this rsvp okay so if the client will click this one it will take them directly to the rsvp page so here you can now here you can now start uh here you can now start editing your wix site and then also with the picture the name okay you can just edit this with c and d okay and then also add some elements right here pictures and so on so i'm going to show you what it looks like as you can see scheduled and rsvp so once they tap the schedule and rsvp it will take them directly to that information that we have added this is what it looks like okay so basically that's it if you have found this video helpful please do like and subscribe because it helps me reach more people see you soon